you saw there we just accidentally well we didn't accidentally hit anything we act, we hit a parasol and we actually became i think we became stuck did we we are we are we are actually stuck in a ditch we have glitched into the wall and we are now stuck that's uh that takes talent World. What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Ark Aberration video and today we're doing an Ark Insight on the Roll Rats behind us. You can see them there. Now these guys are kind of adorable but kind of hideous at the exact same time. I don't know how that's possible, don't ask me, but hey, they managed to pull it off. Now you can see these guys got their saddles and these are some heavy duty saddles as you can see. Now we've got three of them spawned in. Now if you don't know what these Ark Insight videos involve, we go through what their attacks are the basic gist of their stats, what their maximum melee damage would be, and what their maximum movement speed would be if we were to pump it all up in a single go with all their levels. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the mole rat here, sorry, the roll rat, he's not actually called the mole rat, the mole rat's just his spawn in command and saddle. You can see this saddle bouncing around behind us, which is pretty cool. It's like a, it's kind of like a slinky feel to it. But you come over here, and this poor parasol here is going to die. Let's just turn on the HUD so you guys can see the damage. You can see there, we, we're hitting 182 with our primary attack. So he's got two attacks. He's got his primary attack, which you can see there. The little nibble nibble with his buck teeth there, which is perfectly making sense considering the size of them and how damaging that could be. And his secondary attack is absolutely incredible. Imagine the Dodicarus, but on a larger scale. That's right, this guy literally rolls and you can see the spikes at the end of his tail he is able to do damage with those and he is actually able to maneuver you saw there we just accidentally well we didn't accidentally hit anything we act, we hit a parasol and we actually became i think we became stuck did we we are we are we are actually stuck in a ditch we have glitched into the wall and we are now stuck that's uh that takes talent all right we're gonna fix this up first okay so as i was saying this guy has the ability to roll and actually damage dinos that he rolls into. You saw there, we were doing damage to that uh, Dodicarus and now he's coming after us. We can also do damage to the Iguanodon and it all depends on how direct your attack is as well as the size of the creature that you were attacking. It doesn't do too much damage but it does do a decent amount of damage. Now I haven't tested this out yet but I am guessing that as you increase the uh, level of the saddle, for example like the like primitive uh, apprentice ramshackle journeyman that sort of stuff you will deal more damage however another unique but strange thing is that the actual saddle takes damage while you use it it has durability unlike the other saddles which don't have durability so the more you use it to damage other dinos while rolling with its secondary attack the uh the more your durability decreases on the saddle which is it's kind of unique now while you're in this mode you can get stuck in terrain as you can see there you can actually maneuver yourself and turn the way you are going which is uh, pretty handful pretty handy not handful sorry so there are some uses to this roll obviously you can use it as a quick getaway and to deal damage to smaller dinos and just shred through the terrain in your area which is also really useful we don't want to go that way so another unique thing that the roll rat has going for itself you can probably see right now the saddle actually has passenger seats so the roll rat is actually able to seat up to six passengers altogether. You can see here the passenger seats allow you to sit in and you can pretty much use guns and all that sort of stuff in them. It is rather unique. You can't do a full 360 turn, but you can rotate 180 degrees. Now these guys are also protected while you are in the roll. So you essentially can transport up to six players rather effectively through the terrain of aberration using this guy. Which, you know, I can, I'm going to say that's pretty handy, especially with the speed on this guy. So just imagine what his uh, maximum speed would look like on the roll rat while doing this. It's, it's got to be nuts. I'm telling you now. I'm looking forward to doing it. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to pump this guy fully up in movement speed and see how fast he can really go. But before we do that, we're just going to take a quick little gander at their stats here. This guy's got 4,500 health. These guys are tamed at level 150, and they are perfect tames. That's why they've got such high stats. Their stamina usage is actually pretty decent. You saw us there rolling. Granted, it's such a high level, but you probably still would need to pop a few levels into the stamina on this guy. Same goes for his weight, especially if you're transporting up to six players, you know, and you're going to use them for a raid. I would definitely recommend leveling this guy up in weight a little bit. Melee damage so far seems 
pretty good. We might actually leave this guy and head back to the other two roll rats because I think this guy was our melee damage roll rat. But this guy is also a berry harvester. So if we come here, we should be able to harvest berries. I know he can gather mushrooms. Yep, yeah, just like I thought. He is able to gather berries and he is also able to gather mushrooms. So, so he's essentially the herbivore that you're going to need. I'd probably choose this guy over, trike, over a trike to be honest with you. However, I know the level requirements are significantly higher than the other base herbivores. I'm pretty sure this guy is like 50 something because I remember the Ravager being the first at level 47. But first what we're going to do, we're going to pump these guys up in movement speed. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, 399. There we go. So yeah, we're going to pump this guy's movement speed all the way up and just see how fast he can go. Okay, so we're nearing the end of his maximum movement speed, 242%. Let's see how fast he goes. Now, you guys saw how fast he was previously. This is his sprinting speed now. He's a, he's a little waddler. Let's take, a, let's take a little close look at that. Oh, my God, that was a, that was a terrifying sight. Look at that nose. He's, uh, he's pretty fast. He waddles really fast now, but let's see how what we all really want to see. The roll. Okay, so the... Wow, oh, Jesus. Okay, the roll is incredibly... Oh, my God, what have we done? So the roll is incredibly fast. I, I think we've just broken the game. We're, we've just kind of glitched into the terrain down here. Uh, yep, we've uh, we've broken the game again. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, there we go. So, can we can we get out of here? Can we roll out of here, Mr. Roll Rat? No. So, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to roll out of there. So, we've literally broken the game. You guys saw how fast that was. So, uh, you could definitely cover some serious ground with this guy, especially considering you, uh, you can carry up to six passengers. That's some serious terrain coverage that you'll be able to get with this guy. Now, there we go, we should be able to be able to roll back to our initial roll rats back there. This guy is incredibly fast. However, the only downside I see of this is that it's going to be incredibly hard to try and control, as well as trying to hit enemy dinos if you are going to use him for that purpose. Uh, we'll see if we can try and turn a bit more here. There we go. It's, it's a little bit it's a little bit easier than no than you think. But geez, you've just got to be really careful of uh, flying off the edges. Of certain aspects of the map and I think we've just broken the game again and we glitched nope there we go whoa okay and you saw there the game's not even able to keep up with this poor guy we're gonna we're gonna slow things down a little bit here just uh, just so we can head back to the rest of our group and we're gonna test out the melee damage um, so movement speed is a definite pump on these guys I would definitely say heck I would even pump all your movement speed into this guy because imagine like having a flat terrain and just going at it that's why I chose this spot to test their movement speed because it's nice and flat and we're able to test it really well so let's pump up melee damage next on this little dude here. Okay, and this guy's melee damage is pretty much maxed now. You saw earlier he was doing 222 damage to targets. He's now dealing 930, and he just absolutely wrecked that Parasur. Now what we're going to test now is actually whether his melee damage affects his cage roll. So we've got a Parasur up there. We're going to come over there. We were hitting 1s and 2s and all that before oh my god and it has definitely made a huge effect you saw that it looks like as well that the more momentum you build up uh, before hitting targets you actually deal more damage we're going to come over to this parasur here and see just what happens yeah so it looks like the more um the more momentum you build up the more damage you're actually going to do yeah see we we're doing 20s and 30s against him when we had done that initial roll up now we're only doing fours let's come back across here and we're going to try and hit just a little other things 24 there, yeah. So it's definitely based on momentum. It doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like movement speed has that effect on the amount of damage that you do. So I would definitely recommend pumping these guys melee damage and movement speed is a definite for these two, just because of that cage roll. So there's a huge difference in between the two. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come up here quickly, actually, one more time, and we're just going to quickly test his actual base bite attack because we did have a little bit of a mate boost down there so we're just going to test out the bite attack i think it was 920 we were hitting now the good thing about this is that you can kind of do little like leaps with the attack so yeah there we go 699 is the damage we're doing without the uh mate boost so there's a slight difference in between that but um you know nothing too serious about 200 damage points worth of difference but that's that's really not much of a big deal now the only downside to these guys is that you actually can't harvest the bodies either you see that we can't harvest the meat or the hide off the victims that we kill, which is kind of a bummer because if you try and kill stuff and you try and roll away, you're going to get a bit stuck, which is a, it's a little bit of a bummer. But like I said, you can do like a mini leap attack and then cancel the roll, which is kind of good for like dodging enemies and stuff like that. But this guy, this guy's got his uses. I would definitely plan on taming a few of these guys up. I really like the uniqueness of the saddle as well. 
Like the Dodicarus doesn't even have a saddle like this. He just literally rolls into a ball. Whereas this guy is literally like in a hamster wheel and like running across it. That's really cool. The blades on his tail as well and on his head really make up for that uniqueness as well. I really like the, the model of these guys. It's not really based off anything else we've seen in Ark. The, um, the Ravagers are kind of based off like dire wolves and like uh, thylacolios and stuff. But the, the roll rats, we haven't really seen a model for them before. So it's really cool and unique. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for today. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. We've got our little gecko friend on our shoulder. But other than that, that'll be it. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. And I got this soda,